excitement reigns supreme here at Maple Leaf Gardens as the referee Brian Lewis, Leon Sickle, and Ray Stefanello are our officials for tonight's game. And there they are at center right. And we're having a look at Glenn Resch of the New York Islanders. And what an average, 1.46. And down at the other end, his opponent, number 29, Mike Palmatier. And we're all set to start the face-off if somebody threw a rubber chicken out on the ice. That should start something. That'll put the players in the mood. There, as we're all set to go now, Daryl Sittler at center with Lanny McDonald on the right wing and Maloney on the left side. Gloria Salming and Brian Glenny. Trottier, Nystrom, and Gilly for the Islanders, along with Dave Lewis and Dennis Buttman. All ready to start this first period. Third game. And from the faceoff, it's Glenny over for Boya Selming, a backhand into the corner. Maloney's after it. He shot it right in front of the net. It goes around from Dennis Putfan, who is directed with a glove, and referee Brian Lewis. Brian was right on the spot. Canada's prime minister in the audience tonight, Pierre Elliott Trudeau in Toronto for a couple of days and hopefully enjoying the early action here at Maple Leaf Gardens. Now out on the forward line with number 15 for the Islanders, Bill Harris. Bratchy remains out there, so does Gilly, Lewis, and Potvin. And now we have Harris playing on the right side against Lanny McDonald. Ready to go for this faceoff. The linesman looks around. Hitler wins the draw. Glenny the shot. It's knocked down. And the Islanders come up with it. Played by Harris. Right out of Glenny's stick. Glenny took a shot wide. Along the board. Hitler trying to get it up front. And he handed it to Gilly. Gilly to Harris. And he, there's going to be a penalty here. And Hitler is knocked down from behind. The penalty being handed. And it's going to Daryl Sittler, who was knocked down. Sittler took 100 penalty minutes in the regular season, and he's been a tough customer in this series, throwing his weight around Toronto every penalty time. to number 27, Daryl Sittler. comes on the scene. Two minutes for Ruffy. Time, 29 seconds. Daryl Sittler for Ruffy. Ruffy time, to 29 Sittler seconds. at 29 seconds of the first period. Now the power play is... Ryan Trotje, Gillies. And number 22, Mike Bossy. Also up there is Stephen Person and also Dennis Putvin. Goes over to Bossy for Pearson. Pearson shot it ahead over the line for Putvin and it was loose and Butler kicks it down the edge. Going back for it is Pearson, number seven. Back of the net. Now he starts out. Up with Bossy's in front of him. Now he closes over the red line and shoots the puck in. Palmatier knocked it to the board. Pache sending it right on to Jimmy Butler's stick and he shot it down the ice. Well, there's one minute and 21 seconds remaining in Daryl Sittler's penalty for roughing at just 29 seconds of this first period. Now Pearson coming up over the blue line to center. Shot it over on the left wing for Tratchy. He missed the body check by Butler who went into the boards rather heavily. Comes back to Tratchy. In around into the corner to Tratchy. Tratchy gets it back to Dennis Tratchy. Tratchy to Pearson. Pearson gets it over. Tratchy kind of centered and Jimmy Jones drove it to the blue line but not out. And Dennis Tratchy is checked by Jerry Butler. And it's out of center. Over the line it comes again for Bossy, and he goes after it. And he takes into the board. Boya Salming knocked it behind the net. Salming here came out of his goal. Puck is cleared to the blue line, but not it went over, so we'll have a face-off. Gillies and Glenny. Gillies would like to get at Glenny because Glenny really rocked 
them. And now Butler and Gillies, they tangled with some stiff body checks on Wednesday night. And now they go at it with Gillies scoring with a lot of right-hand punches against Jerry Butler. Gillies with a tremendous weight advantage over the lead player, Butler. Butler getting up slowly. This all started when Glennie hit Gillies to begin it. Now Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. This is Stanley Cup 78. Well, you could see on your screen where Glennie initially started this by taking Gillies out of the play. Gillies bumps him a bit. Glennie doesn't want any part of this. He's willing to let it go there and possibly let Gillies take a penalty. But Gillies sees Butler on the scene and throws a punch at him, and the two of them go with five-minute majors for fighting. 2.05 the time. And there's 24 seconds left in Darrell Sittler's penalty. Al Arbor back of the bench, looking on. Out of action in this first couple of minutes. Thomas here shot the puck out the center right. Here comes Potvin again. Puck goes into the corner. Ferguson, they're going to get it out for you. Salming is covered by Potvin to go to the boards, and it's held there for a face-off. Nine seconds left in the penalty to Sittler. No score in the game. First period. Mike Palmatier coming under pressure early has registered the only shutout of the 78 playoffs. 4 nothing over Los Angeles. And the Islanders have to be worried about the Leafs' tremendous penalty killing record. They're the best in the playoffs. They have only one goal against by Clark Gillies, who's in the box right now. And that was during 19 times short. That goes to Ian Turnbull, who goes in back of the net into the corner. Backhand pass to the blue line and out. Buttman shot it back, and that's offside. With two seconds left, and they face off outside the Leaf blue line. The Leaf players wanted the face off to go all the way down to the other end on an intentional offside. Ruled not so by the linesman. Darrell Sitt Sittler standing up in the box now. Two seconds left in his minor for roughing. Number 11, Wayne Merrick, going to center right. Harris on the right wing. And number 8, Gary Howitt, playing on the left side. Jerry Hart, number 2, as Sittler comes back on the ice. Bert Marshall is number 6. The puck is shot outside again, and this time they're going to take it down. All the way down, intentional offside. Sittler with Lanny McDonald and Maloney. Now they're... Sittler's going to remain out there with Jimmy Jones. Now then, Sittler leaves, and we have Jimmy Jones at center. Pat Boutet and Williams on the wing. Turnbull and Joe Henson, the two defensemen. There's Sittler standing up. All set to go. Number 11, Wayne Merrick of the Islanders against Jimmy Jones, and they're waved out. Teams are at full strength. Leafs again killing a penalty right off the bat to their captain. 29 seconds. Pat Boutet into the corner, pokes the puck along the board. Williams lost his stick, goes after Jerry Hart, gives him a poke, and the puck goes out to center ice, but ran into Hart again, and then shot the puck back into Islander territory. down the ice and Jimmy Jones to Trevor Johansson to Ian Turnbull. Turnbull turns at his own blue line over onto the right side. Gets by Howard. Gets his shot. Another one in front. Oh, and that one just rolled by the open corner. Williams and Hart having a private duel of their own. Williams takes his man to the board. The puck is loose. Hart shoved at Jones. And Bert Marshall has it now for the Islanders, number six. Over it goes to Jerry Hart, up to the blue line for Gary Howard. Too far for Harris. It's behind the net, and it's icing called against the New York Islanders. Tonight's Stanley Cup playoff game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto.
Walker, Maloney, and Lanny McDonald. Maloney went down in the face-off circle. Bossy hit by Fittler, knocked down. Comes over for Quacho. He and Lanny McDonald bump together. Here's Cockbang getting a chance. A pass over to Bossy, a shot, and Thomas here is not back. And terrific body checks have been handed out and have all been clean. Dave Lewis, a pass for Potvin, who is bumped by Maloney. And against the board. Puck, Fittler takes his man out. Ratchey, after the escape, and they hold it there for a face-off. A bruising shift with Sittler's line matched against Trache's. McDonald and Trache collided. Watch this hit. They saw each other coming. They both went backwards and down to the ice. Trache and McDonald. Moments later, Bossy had a great scoring opportunity, but Palmatier came up with a big save. Snap at home, Lanny, number seven, from Shelley Les and Chico, but that's not Chico Resch. Rache with Howitt and, of course, Bossy, number 22, and it's Potvin and Dave Lewis. Comes back to Potvin, Potvin shoots it in behind the net. Big loop to Boya Salming up to Danny Maloney, ahead to Sittler, Sittler up to center. Darryl Sittler shot it over the line, ran into Dennis Potvin, and it's picked up by Lewis. Up to Trachey at center, a long shot. Palmatier had no trouble with that. It gets it ahead to Maloney. Islanders changing on the go. A long shot by Sittler was knocked down by the defense, and it's Dennis Hutman, his own blue line. His pass for Nightstrom goes down over the red line. Touched by Glenny Icing is the call. Brian Glenny wearing the protective padding around the neck. The overtime goal by rookie Mike Bossy Wednesday night against the Leafs was Toronto's fourth straight overtime loss in the playoffs in the seventh in nine overtime games. The Leafs have lost since 1968. Look from behind the Islander bench. Al Arbor the coach. Dan Weir now at center with Williams and Lanny McDonald. Ian Turnbull, Trevor Johansson. The Islanders win the draw. Back of the net there is Bob Bourne. And uh, Jerry Hart. Up at center over the line, and Johansson picks it off. Trevor Johansson with a pass for Williams. He didn't see it. Knocked back to Stan Weir. Weir turns to center right. He shoots it, and in doing so, shot it over the glass into the seat. famous face in the crowd, Al Eagleson. Lanny McDonald and Jerry Hart starting to fence. Now whether they picked up high-sticking penalties, I believe they're going to get them. Lanny McDonald is going to get a high-sticking penalty, and so is Hart. This is Stanley Cup 78 from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Sticking at 5.15. Well, we have 14.45 and counting now, remaining in the first period. Don't score in the game. Boya Salming to Ian Turnbull. Turnbull into the corner. Tried to send it out in front of it, behind the net. Into the corner, he's after it. Comes back to Boya Salming. Salming gets it into Turnbull. A shot right on. Still trying to get the rebound. Islanders trying to get it out. Hitler keeps it in with a shot. Oh, a beautiful save back. By Glenn Red. Stuck his hand out. Made a beautiful save on Daryl Sittler's high shot. Fresh leading all the goaltenders, allowing only three goals in Stanley Cup play, and Turnbull in a daring move. Made a couple of fine plays just before this shot from Sittler was gloved by Glenn Resch. Resch checks the padding. Hitler, Maloney, Turnbull, and Salming. Oria Salming grabbed by Bill Harris. But comes back to Turnbull over for Ron Ellis for Sittler. Cleared out to center right. Oria Salming back there. He heads it up to Sittler. Turns and starts heading toward the island line. A pass for Maloney. Just still the click. Knocked out to center right. 
Ian Turnbull. And he didn't wait long enough, and Maloney went over the blue line and advanced uh, Turnbull. Crowd got a little upset when Turnbull went in behind the Islander goal a moment or two ago, Bill. The crowd trying mm -hmm. to help Brian Lewis officiate this game felt that he was held in there, or interfered with. They're getting down on the official early tonight. Turnbull leading scorer in the playoffs. Certainly a lot of excitement being generated in the Maple Leaf Gardens tonight. Oh, they're up for this one after what happened the other night on the island. Underway, Maloney shoots the puck. Back of the net, Rent having a little bit of difficulty. Then Dennis Potvin gets it, number five. He waits for Bill Bourne. Bourne passes over onto the left wing. Coming down the ice. Over the line, the shot is off the board. And it goes to Gloria Salming. It's brought out by Salming at the center. Sittler, that was behind him. Now it's taken by Maloney. Maloney gets it over the line, gets his shot, it's wider than that. We've got 13-12 to play in this first period. No score yet. Nice drum number 23 is being replaced by Brian Fetchy coming out at center again. Bossy. On the right wing, Ian Williams bumped together. All set to go with 13-12 remaining in the first period. No score in the game as it goes from Jimmy Jones to Lenny, then down went Williams. At the side of the net, number 25, Dave Lewis, getting it on the left side but not out. Williams going after it. Blackman gets it over to Lewis again. Lewis up to Tretje. Tretje is center, and he's checked, and Williams has it, but has to go all the way back to get control. He left the back of the net. Back on the ice are Hart and Lanny McDonald. Teams at full strength. No score. First period, Brian Glennie, number 24, will apply. That high look out that went up into the crowd. Scramble for it right in front of the Leaf executive box. Mr. Clancy will probably shake the recipient's hand if he gets an opportunity. Remember what Clancy said the other night, Bill? He said, we, uh, we get him back in Maple Leaf Gardens and you're guaranteed two victories. Bache, number 19, at center with Gillies on the left wing and Bossy on the right. Goes back to Dennis Potvin. Potvin takes a look. He hit Bache with it, but Bache then recovers. Bache goes all the way behind the net. A long pass for Bossy, recovered, and Boya Thalmy shoots it right back over the line. Dennis Patvan goes behind the Allender net. Shot it up. Gilly is going the wrong way, but he tapped it out to center right. The Leafs have it again. Drive it right back in off the boards. It bounces to Reg, and he left it there for Lewis. Lewis to the Islanders. The pass over on the left wing. Coming up to center right, Treche. Treche to the Leaf line, and he was stopped by Brian Glenny. Glenny back to Solman at the blue line. Up at the red line at center. Over the blue line. And that shot goes into the corner. Taken by Williams, and he squeezed out. Up to Frank Gilly, number nine. Over here to Bossy. He's over the line. Takes one shot, still has it. Oh, a Thomas here stopped that, and it stopped the rebound. Gary Butler coming back at center, number 17. And he shoots the puck in around behind the net. Gary Hart. Number two, and he seems to be the target of Tiger Williams and vice versa. Comes out. Trapped by Bossy to Potvin. Potvin is gone back to Jerry Hart. To Dennis Potvin. No score. First period. Up the ice. And number 14, Bob Bourne, was really hit hard. Puck goes down the ice. After it is Dan Weir. He's behind the net. Down the right. Finally comes back to the blue line. Turnbull kept it in. Goes behind the net again. Hard is hit. 
Out in front it comes. Ellis couldn't reach it. And back come the Islanders. Nice throw. Into the corner. Pat Boutet had him covered. Bob Boren trying to center it. And they get a whistle and a face off. With the score, Toronto nothing and New York Islanders nothing. This is Stanley Cup 78. Some excellent two-way hockey in the early play here at the Gardens. There's Boutet slamming Nystrom into the glass. Nystrom scored a picture goal against the Leafs the other night. On the face off, Johansson to Ian Turnbull. Turnbull starting out now. His pass on the right wing to Lanny McDonald to Daryl Sittler. Intercepted and shot back in by the Islanders. That's Bob Bourne, number 14, standing in front of the net as it's cleared by Johansson to Turnbull. A long pass for Lanny McDonald. Two fire, Jerry Hart going after it. And he touches it, and that is icing. Again, we look at Daryl Sittler. Two years ago, he tied the record with five goals and one assist in a playoff game. His career playoff scoring average, 106 points per game. And there you see the clock and the time remaining. Nine minutes and 59 seconds of the first period remaining. All set to go. The puck goes to Trevor Johansson. Trevor Johansson, number four in his own blue line. The center to Ann Malone, who got it over the line. And Jerry Hart gives it to Harris. Back to Hart. Hart into the corner. Pearson tried to get it up on the wing, and out come the Islanders. Wayne Merrick gets it over on the wing to Howitt. Howitt missed the check from Johansson. McDonald took him into the board. The puck goes along the board. Trevor Johansson can't get control, so he holds it there, but another air button. Incident of real hard hitting along the board. Well, one thing about Gary Howitt, he's used to the rough play. He likes this kind of hockey, but Lanny McDonald took him in solidly there. Howard with 105 penalty minutes. Out comes Dennis Potvin and Dave Lewis again. Ferguson to the lead. And Jack Bellicat gets his first assignment. So it's Ferguson at center with Bellicat on the left wing, Ron Ellis on the right side, Glennie and Boria Salming, the two defensemen. As we line up, Dave Lewis and Dennis Patpath, defense core for the New York Islanders. And Lewis is playing quite a ways in for a defenseman on this faceoff. It goes to the fire boards and it's brought up by Boya Salming. His pass for Ron Ellis was behind him. It's cut by Dennis Patpath. He went down heavily, but it was icing, I believe, called as Potvin touched the puck before a leaf player could. Potvin also likes this rough brand of hockey. He says it stirs him up, gets him going in a hockey game. 9-16 to play. In the crowd, baseball star Bob Baylor at rinkside. And next to him, I believe, is Al Eagleson's daughter, Jill, his daughter, Jill. Boy, wouldn't a lot of girls like to be in the company of Bob Baylor? Daryl Sittler, Dan Maloney, and Lanny McDonald back out. Bob Bourne, number 14, along with number 21, Mike Kazicki, and Nystrom. Gloria Selming with the puck, a back pass to Daryl Sittler. Hitler then to Lanny McDonald over his stick. Maloney gets the puck, tried to go through, is knocked down. Lanny McDonald is drive. And Kazicki comes up with the puck, number 21, ahead to Bourne. Bourne tried to go over the line, and it's taken by Maloney again. Maloney for Darrell Sittler. Sittler up for Lanny McDonald. Sittler has it again. Sittler now crosses down the line with Lanny McDonald. The shot. Maloney gets it in to Lanny McDonald. Lanny McDonald coming out in front. There's the shot the ground, wide of the corner. Leafs all around the Allen net, but they can't get it on. Bob Bourne into the corner. Islanders have it. 
Clearing pass up to the other spot band. Number five at center. Over the line. Is it through? Offside was number 11, Wayne Merrick. Pretty neat move by Dennis Potba after Lanny McDonald almost dribbled one past Glenn Resch. If McDonald had scored on all the great opportunities he's had in this series, he'd have seven or eight goals by now. He's just off the corner. Here's that move by Potba, sifting right through, but Merrick was, you could see, was just in a stride or two offside. We have eight minutes and 23 seconds remaining to play in the first period, and there's no score. Jimmy Jones with Tiger Williams and Jerry Butler. Rache, Bossy, and Gilly. Back it comes. It's cleared by Marshall. That ends up off the glass. Behind the net. Lenny around on the board. Jerry Butler lets it go, and it rolls out to center. Stephen Pearson getting it on the left side. It's cleared over to Bossy, who shot the puck into the corner. And it's Boria Salmi. Up to... Williams gets it ahead to Jones, to Butler, fakes the shot, gets the shot away, caught by Resch, and that's where play will end. Bill Tiger Williams has lots of confidence coming back to Maple Leaf Gardens, and I asked him before the game, should the Islanders be up two games in the series? No way. I, I feel the first game uh, will give them a Cinderella win because we made a few mistakes, but in the second game, there's no way they should be up uh, with chances to score and the amount of hitting we've did and the, they've did, it's clearly shown in all our minds that we should be a, we should be ahead or at least tied with them and they'll never win in this building. Well, you heard it from the mouth of the Tiger. They'll never win in this building. Well, there's no score in this first period. As he gets set to go. The Leafs win the draw. Boy, Asami takes the screenshot and escapes. Luke Jones knocked it back out over the blue line. Gillies goes after he's got a hold of Boria Salmi. There's going to be a penalty there to Gillies. Trache ran into Jones. Williams went after Trache. This Stanley Cup playoff game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto of the Islanders picks up a holding penalty at 12-21 of the first period. It's scoreless at the Gardens and we might point out that the team scoring the first goal of the game has won 12 of the 17 playoff games so far. Gillies number nine is called here for holding two Leafs and Gillies in against the boards. with their first opportunity at a power play, and it's Sittler, Lanny McDonald, Maloney, Salming, and Turnbull. Sittler gets the draw to Salming, over to Turnbull, the shot, that came into the corner, Lanny McDonald with it. Lanny McDonald gets it back to Turnbull. Turnbull shot it, so just couldn't get to it, just got deflected away from him. Sittler then to Salming, takes his shot, let's stop that. Sittler right in front of Lanny McDonald, way up into the crowd. Well, you see what I mean? We mean, Bill, about the opportunities McDonald's had in the in the games played so far. Look at the look of frustration on his face. He's had some tremendous chances, and this bad luck, a stick, whatever gets in his way in this case. And here's the replay. Let's watch it. Just can't believe he missed that one. seconds remaining to play in the first period. 137 in the penalty as Turnbull gets it over to Salmi. Over the blue line. Shot it around behind the net. Fresh stopped it there. Flipped it. Lanny McDonald then to Sittler. Sittler again gets it back to Boria Salming. Over here comes to Turnbull. Turnbull trying to get it to Sittler and he missed it. And Harris hits it out to center right. Turnbull intercepts to Boria Salming. Boria Salming Trying to get away from Henning. Gets it over to Sittler. He's over the line. Sittler tried to pass. But oh, he just couldn't reach it. Lanny McDonald, after the puck along the board, gets it to Darrell Sittler. Lanny McDonald standing in front. Maloney takes the shot. And fired it five feet wide. Gloria Salmi. Sittler. And it's clear but not out. Salmi has it again. 
into Sittler. Right in front to Randy McDonald, and that was stopped on a brilliant play by Dennis Batman. Goes down the ice. 38 seconds left in the penalty. 6.16 to go, first period. Up the ice for Turnbull. Over to Borea Salmon. Too far. Picked off by Crutche. Over the line, offside to number 10, Lauren Henning. Henning and Harris, the key penalty killers, was with uh, Westfall out of the lineup. He may be back Sunday. Daryl Sittler scored six points in one playoff game. We mentioned that earlier, and the date was April 22, 1977. Dennis Potvin coming up with a key block during the man advantage for the Leafs. Center now with Ellis and Williams on the wing. Ryan Glenny. And Ian Turnbull. On the faceoff, Williams gets it over to Turnbull. Back to Brian Glenny. Glenny back to Turnbull. Watched by Henning. with chopped it away from him and right back into his territory. And Glenny has to go back for it. Lenny back of the net, 15 seconds left in the penalty. Williams starting out with a pass to Glenny. Up to Williams. He crosses the red line, drives the puck in. Dan Weir. To Ron Ellis. To Ian Turnbull. Back out is Gilly. Here's a chance for the Leafs as Ron Ellis missed it. It's down underneath Marshall. And he holds it long enough for a face-off. Islanders back at full strength. Bert Marshall certainly glad to find a home in Long Island. He started out with Detroit, then spent some years with the California Seals, then traded to the Rangers and right on to the Islanders. There's our friend from Philadelphia, Dave Leonardo, the uh, sign man. Have to ask him who he's rooting for tonight. The Leaf bench. Players all certainly tuned into this one. Five minutes and 32 seconds remaining to play in the first period. We no score in the game. Both teams have had a power play advantage. Now here's Williams with the puck. Goes into the corner. Still got it. Trying to get it back to Boya Salming, and it's out to center right. That's a cover. To Williams. He's over the line again. A shot. And he hit Marshall. Williams gets it again. Goes behind the net. Trying to put it in from the side. And Rush just got his skate on it at the last second. Williams moved right in to see where that puck stopped. He tried to jam it past the goal pad of Glenn Rush from behind the net. Here's the move by Williams. Pretty good play, actually. But Rush wasn't giving up an inch with the leg spread against the post. Still, it worried him. All set to go. Butler is in the faceoff circle. Uh, here again. Ryan Cache, number 19, facing off against Jones. Islanders come up with it. Jerry Hart around on the glass. Nystrom chopped it. Williams kept it in. Knocked down by Jerry Butler. Lost it. Pearson gets it up to Bob Bourne. He's over the line. Bourne is spun around by Boria Selman. Play goes right on. It comes over here to Williams. Williams stick handling to the blue line over and knocks him in the corner. Bourne had him tied up. The puck is cleared but not out. Goes back and Stephen Pearson gets it over on the wing. Flat to Bourne. Bourne pass. Stopped at the blue line. Then nice from the million bump together. Goes around. Comes up to Ron Ellis who just jumped over the board. The pass for Jones. He was covered by Gary Howitt. Now it's picked up by Jones again. Jones and Burchett over the line together. Butler just left the ice as Ellis and Boutet, and then Boutet is singled out after he ran into Dave Lewis 
and Boutet's going to get a penalty. Live from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto, the Stanley Cup playoff. Pat Boutet in along the boards fighting for the puck takes a roughing penalty at 15.52. Seven penalties in the first period so far. Four to the Leafs, three to the Islanders. Here's Boutet in there with Dave Lewis. will play Sean Annett for the second time. Ferguson, Ellis, Glennie, and Salming. Lay down to Bossy. Give it to Gilly. Gilly was dumped, but it was outside at the Leaf blue line. Well, the Leafs have been noted for their penalty killing, not only through the regular season, but in the playoffs. And who better to describe it for us than Jerry Butler? Against the Islanders, have one of the better power plays in the league. Jonesy and myself don't try and do anything different. We really just try and uh, keep them off balance in their end, and then when we get in our end, play a real tight box and hoping our defense can clear all the rebounds. On the power play, you have to watch out for Dennis Potvin, who has a good shot from the point, and uh, Trotche, who's good in the corners, and Gilly just stands in front real tough, and Mike Bossy with a quick shot. All right, Jerry Butler of the Leafs. Four minutes to play. Scoreless here in the first period. Goes back to Boya Salmi. He drives it down the ice. The puck taken by Glenn Resch. Leaving it there for Pearson, number seven. He's watched by Ferguson. Brings it up to Bossy. At center, a long shot off the glass. Goes behind that to Salmi. And Salmi whistled it down the ice. And that got down in an awful hurry. A lot of the Islander players were ducking. It's shot back out to center right. Brian Glenny has it. The boy is Salming, and Salming has really been very strong. Brian's it down the ice again, and he's had an awful lot of ice time. Pearson. Starting to come out for the Islanders. No score in the game. 3-10 remaining. Ferguson has stepped it a pass. Got it back down the ice. Ducky leaves it for Pearson right in front of his own net. And he hit Dennis Potvin. Ron Ellis stops and shoots it all the way down to Brian Glenny. 45 seconds remaining in the penalty. And Gloria Salmon does it again. Brian's a wicked one down the ice. Pearson back for the Islanders again. Gets it behind the net to Dennis Potvin. He's moving out of center right. They go around Boria Salmon. Butler has stopped it, but it's kept in by Pearson. They hand, hand it right back to Jimmy Jones, and he shoots it down the ice. Kazicki to Bossy. Kazicki takes it and sets it over the line. Following up was Bourne, and it was shot by Glenny, but not out. Marshall has shot that hit Jones. Boria Salmon has it. Back out is Puck to Tep. And it's shot down the ice. A race for it. Marshall and Boutet. And it's icing called against the Leafs. Good penalty killing by the Leafs. Let's go down now to Dave Hodge. In our first intermission, we'll give you a continuation of the showdown mini hockey final, part two of the total goal series. We'll have highlights from Howie Meeker and a report from the Montreal-Detroit game and highlights, too, with Bob Goldman. Last report, it was 1-1 Canadians and Wings after one period. Thank you, David. Showdown in the first intermission. The Leafs have allowed only one power play goal during the playoffs, and they got a long, sustained round of applause for their penalty killing there. Sunday at 7, game four in the series. The Islanders at the Leafs. out there with Powett and Wayne Merrick, Sittler, Lanny McDonald, and Dan Maloney, Turnbull, and Joe Hanson. All ready to go now for this important face-off. Two minutes, one second remaining in the first period. We have no score. Sittler won the draw to Joe Hanson. Johansson just flips the puck to center, stopped by Marshall, and Marshall drives it right back in again. 
Ends up behind the net. Thomas here into the corner for Lanny McDonald. Jerry Hart kept it in with a shot in front. Maloney went behind the net. Maloney over on his wrong wing. Gets the puck up to center. Stopped by Marshall. who was bumped by Daryl Sittler. Shot down the ice. Marshall going back for it. Sittler after him. They go to the board. Goes back out to center. Joe Hanson then for Maloney. And Sittler. Harris. And a pass to Merrick. Back to Harris. Harris shoots it in. Wide of the net. We have a minute and ten. Remaining in the first period. No score. Merrick shot the puck back. The Leafs have to go back and get it. Never Joe Hanson. At his own blue line. Up to center. Long shot. Ends up behind the net. Red. Hooked it by Stan Weir to Harris. Harris' back pass. Came to the blue line, but not out. Stan Weir for Turnbull. That didn't work. Lanny McDonald to Turnbull. Turnbull turning again. This time in the morning. Oh, he shoots. Oh, Bounce one off the post. He gets it back to Howard, a shot. Thomas here stops out of the rebound, driven into the corner. Goes to Stan Weir, to Turnbull. 20 seconds to Lanny McDonald. Lanny McDonald was given a tremendous jolt by Lewis. And a great way of call. That must have hurt. I'm surprised McDonald got up as quickly as he did. Watch this hit again as Lewis heads off McDonald. McDonald tried to slip by. Lewis appeared to get a, an arm up there and an elbow, and that's what he's been called with. Penalty to Lewis on the play. New York Islander penalty to number 25, Dave Lewis. McDonald Two minutes for elbow. away from that one. Elbowing the call. 1945. 1945. Dave Lewis. So elbowing. late in the period, the Islanders take a penalty. Dave Lewis. And moments before that happened, Dan Maloney wrapped one off the goalpost. Seems to me, Bill, the Leafs are going all out here in this first period, trying to get that first goal, trying to knock down every Islander within sight, and then maybe it's like a race where the runner starts out quickly, coasts a little bit in the middle part, and then comes on strongly at the finish. Here's the Maloney shot that went right off the goalpost. They're working on Lanny McDonald's nose over at the bench, so he caught the elbow right on his sore nose. It is. Nose was broken a couple of weeks ago, and he just has seven stitches, and Lanny's in trouble over there, obviously. All ready to go. The puck goes to Dennis Potvin. Off the boards it goes and down the ice with 10 seconds remaining. Goes to Gloria Salming. Up it comes. Goes by Danny Maloney. Checked by Glenn Resch with two seconds remaining. They go to the boards. Dennis Potvin and Williams. As the bell goes to end the first period. So the score at the end of the first period is Toronto nothing, the New York Islanders nothing. Thank you, David. We're back in the gondola. Bossy missed a couple of great chances, as Howie pointed out. So did Lanny McDonald, so there's not much to summarize, is there, Bill? No, there certainly isn't, Brian. Just that there was no scoring, and the Leafs outshot the Islanders 9-5. to five. Billy Smith, the backup netminder for the Islanders tonight. And we have the Islanders, of course, a penalty which they picked up in the last 15 seconds of the first period to serve in this second period. Dave Lewis in the penalty box. Boston and Chicago scoreless first period. All ready to go here now as Sittler, Maloney, and Lanny McDonald along with Salming and Turnbull. Leafs with the advantage in manpower. Six men to five as Turnbull drives the puck in. Marshall goes back for it to the Islanders. Third it along the boards. Cleared but not out. Sitting there right for Lane McDonald and he couldn't get a drive. 
Harris shoots it around on the board. Gloria Selman couldn't keep it in. He tried to, and it's out and in offside. Boston now leads Chicago, one to nothing. Goal by John Wensink. So it's one nothing Bruins. They lead the series two games to nothing. Coming into the action tonight. On the faceoff is taken by Marshall. Gets it back to Dennis Sutfan, number five, and he's moving out now to center ice. Right. Coming up to the leaf line and over, covered by Lanny McDonald. Got a weak shot away. Turnbull. Coming out with a pass to Daryl Sittler. Sittler down the right wing. Rolls the puck in. It goes around on the wing. Maloney lets it go to Turnbull. Turnbull goes in with a shot. And Karam wide. Gloria Selman. It's knocked down and knocked out the center where Turnbull has it. Gets it back up on the left wing to Maloney. He's over the line. Maloney. Then a fat fan went down. It goes all the way back for Boya Selman. Selman. Up for Sittler. Darrell Sittler shoots it off the board. Red. Into the corner. And it's played by Hot Fan down the ice. Mike Palmas here. Up for Ian Turnbull. Turnbull is checked. Henning. Just failed to get it loose. Helmet here hooks it around on the board to Maloney. And Danny Maloney has been having his trouble. He's getting a little bit of a Fansbury from the fan. Ian Turnbull with the puck. Now it goes over for Boria Salming to Maloney. Back to Sittler. Drove the puck into the corner. Maloney's after the puck. Has it along the board. Sittler comes up with it and lost it, and it's cleared down the ice. Teams are called back for icing as the teams are back at full strength. From Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto, this is Stanley Cup 78. Well, here we are. We see Coach Roger Nielsen, the Leaf bench, and Zeroing in now on the action as we get ready to start again. Jimmy Jones. And then Ryan Sache. They didn't get their six down properly, and a lot of it has to do with the players in Jones line not putting those six on the ice. Roger Nielsen told me before the game you would see Jones against Trache in a matchup tonight, as well as Settler against Trache. goes to the side of the net behind it for Jerry Hyde. Hyde of the Islanders is no score in the game. Comes up to center ice to Harris. He's got it over the line. Williams goes back. Cutche checks him. Cutche takes the shot. Well Beautiful save by Mike Thomas here with his right hand. That was a sharp stop by the Leaf net minder, Mike Palmatier from the corner just inside the circle as Williams almost got in front of Paul Batier. All ready to go. A little bit of juggling going on again. Mike Bossy back at the rim of the circle. It comes back to the blue line. That shot deflects out over the line. Jerry it has it. Got it back. And Boria Solomon intercepts, goes to the ice, over the line, going in alone, he got his shot away, and then was jumped into the board by Jerry Hart. Bossy and Williams bumped together, cleared out to center right, and Glenny gets into Bossy, goes back to the blue line. Pearson over to Hyde, up to Gilly, Gilly right on to Williams' step. Get around. Goes back in the net. Cleared up. Gillies has it. Dropping it back. Pearson giving it to Hart. Hank comes to center right. To the leaf line and over. Mike Gillies takes his shot. Thomas here. Stop that. Gillies has got it again. Out of front. And Moss is shot. And was knocked down. Boy is back with a long shot. Rest loves that. Jerry Butler went for a ride. 
as he is hit by Gilly. And Jones bumps into Gilly. And Hyde is back to the net. Gets it up on the wing. Here comes Mike Gilly. Now the Islanders. He's shot. Paul Mateer got his toe out on that. Matt Boutet. Back to the net. Steering past the Turnbull. Back for Boutet. Hits the back of the skate. Bob Bourne is Jack Turnbull over the line. Took a shot. And that was Dennis Hotfan went down heavily. He to get caught with a high stick. And Pat Boutet. Ryan into his check, but Dennis Potvin was shot with a high stick. It was certainly unintentional. Dennis Potvin hit in the mouth. The stick came up. The puck might have come straight up as well, Bill. It would be very difficult to tell, and he's worried about his teeth, obviously, at this point in time. Potvin has been a powerful performer for the Islanders out there tonight. Quite a treat to watch Potvin and Salming wheel and deal. Dennis Potvin, number five for the New York Islanders. He's their all-time leading scorer. That happened right at the blue line. We'll see if we can pick it up now in the replay. As Turnbull got set to shoot, a slap shot on its way. The stick comes up. Very difficult to tell whether the puck came up there as well. well there's no score in the game. 15-49 remaining in the second period. Lewis gets it up at center. A long shot by Kaziki. And Bob Nice from trying to center it. Got it back to Dennis Potvin. Takes his shot. That just missed the target. Kaziki sends it up. Bob Nice from the back. Penalty, though, I believe, will be handed out to Maloney. Maloney wants to tangle with Bourne, but that was brief, and now he heads over to the penalty box. The next Stanley Cup playoff game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. We can catch this lower left of your screen now. Dan Maloney, number nine, interference on the Islanders just as the Leafs were breaking out of their own zone. 4.34 the time. At center now, Bob Bourne, number 14, as the puck is drilled right by him down the ice, and Maloney gets up and says something to him from the penalty bench. Islander, Captain Pearson. To Dennis Potvin. Down the right wing. Dickey passed it back to Nystrom. Nystrom up at center. To the leaf line. Couldn't get over it. And he got a piece of him. And the puck to Bourne. Bourne getting it to Pearson. Pearson back for Dennis Potvin. Potvin at center. Over the line. Down the ice, Kaziki covered by Ferguson. Puck goes loose to Pearson. And Pearson has the puck. Coming up to the Islanders. A minute and seven seconds left in Maloney's penalty. Over for Kaziki and it goes into the corner. Boya Tommy left it there. Bourne has it. Back to Dennis Putfan. Over it goes. And back in the door and he's got it wide. Rebound back to the blue line. Pearson keeps it in the nice one. Nice one is bumped by Glennie. Back down the ice. Hot fan goes back. Two teams changing on the go. And a hot fan with 32 seconds left in Maloney's penalty. Gets it up to Pearson. Pearson's pass to Sutcher. Gets it over the line. Checked by Gary Butler. And driven down the ice. And rush to Dennis Potvin. Up on the right wing. Relayed back. Pearson over to Potvin. Potvin at center. Over on the right side of Clutchie. Missed the check from Glenny. The boy is coming. Found it and shot it down the ice. Danny Malone is back out. And again, the Leafs have been very prominent on killing penalties. Now Ian Turnbull was checked by Sutchie. Gives it to Clank Gilly. 
Gilly shoots the puck in. Rebound out in front. Paul McKay to Turnbull. Turnbull is jammed against the board. Comes up to the puck. Off to the puck. Jay goes back to the net. Thelming after his man. And it's Ian Turnbull. Turning the puck out to center right. Kurt Marshall. Over to Jerry Hart. Hart pass. Knocked down by Turnbull. Boy, is Thelming. And what you saw, they would push the head with a glove. This is Stanley Cup 78 from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Al Arbor behind the Islanders bench. He must be wondering when his power play is going to get going against the tough defensive penalty killing of the Toronto Maple Leafs. It's been exceptional throughout the series. Harris of the Islanders is bumped. Played though by Wayne Merrick. Back of the Leaf net, Trevor Johansson. To Stan Weir, up for Pat Bouquet, he poked it out, Jerry Hyatt relays it over to Harris, Harris and Howitt, along with Merrick, they go to the board, Stan Weir goes down, they try to center it, Delicat, out of Bouquet, up the center, over the line, tries to pass, right in front of Weir, and Weir was stopped by Marshall, cleared out the center, Hyatt picks it up, Howitt with it, number eight, trying to get it back, comes up to the back at center right and then he shoots it in. Harris, Howard, and Merrick up there. Um, very hard on the defense along with Marshall. Here he's coming again. Back to Chester, Ian Turnbull. That's back out. He's down here with a chance. A back pass. Was wide on the open side of the net. Really opening up here in the second period. Up comes Jerry Hart, number two to center over the blue line. Hey, time look at that was over top of the net. Jack Belichick. A pass ahead for Sam Weir. He had a piece of it, so the least change on the goal. The whole line change is made. Lanny McDonald missed Sache. Over the line for Gillies. Offside Sache as it was intended for Bossy on the right wing, and Sache didn't wait. Well, you said it. The pace has really quickened here in the second period. They've opened up and on the scoreboard. Look at this. The Red Wings with the help from Nick Libet, and it doesn't occupy and lead Montreal 2-1, to one, second period. Libet with a pair of goals over the Canadians tonight. And Maloney to Brian Glenny. Over to Boria Tellman. Salming starts heading up. Maloney was behind the defense, but Salming decides to bring it himself. Backhand, stop by Rick to Dennis Sutfan. It fell. Ends up underneath him, and that's where play will end. Well, Bob Golden was telling me about the time he first saw an octopus come hurtling down onto the ice at the Olympia, and Red Story was the referee, and it lay there at their feet. He said, Red, aren't you going to pick that up? And he said, no, sir, that's what the linesman's for. That is spot there, the all-time playoff scorer with 46 points now. He just passed Jude Drouin. Score in the game with 10 minutes and 54 seconds remaining to play second period. Ryan Glenny, a pass for Sittler. Sittler gets a hold of it. Over the line. Closing in. Drops it to Ryan McDonald. It's shot. That was shot. Maloney tried to get to it. He was hauled away by Dennis Sutton. Long shot. Wide a Palmateer. Cleared by Sittler. Out to Maloney. Maloney. Over it for Boya Salmon. Salmon. Trying to get it out in front. And that's knocked into the corner. And knocked around behind the net. Then it's that man in the corner on this side. Shot it out to center right. It goes back to Glenny. Up it comes to Maloney. Maloney and Sittler. And Sittler trying to take the puck off his stick. Now then Fletcher goes down. A pass for Daryl Sittler. Gets the puck. Tried to hit Maloney. And it's Lanny McDonald over the line. Boya Salming was cruising. And now back for Bourne. Bob Bourne closing in. He was hooked by Sittler and then knocked down by Brian Glenny. Glenny, a long pass to Lanny McDonald. To Sittler. Closing in. Lanny McDonald is down. Hit the goal post. Right off the post. And it goes down the ice. Lanny McDonald had that one right off the post. 
Cut down again. Left Turnbull. Getting the puck over the line. Lynch. There's going to be a penalty here. Play is called. The Islanders pick up a penalty. With the score, Toronto nothing, New York Islanders nothing. This is Stanley Cup 78. The crowd chanting for the Leafs now as Jerry Hart takes an interference penalty at 10.38. Seconds earlier, Lanny McDonald, number seven. Slammed one off the goalpost. That's the second goalpost hit by the Leafs. Maloney hit one in the first period. Then McDonald with this shot, screened on its way, just under the glove of Rash, but off the post, and it stayed out. Dan Weir to William Turnbull. Also, Mike Pellick. Mike Pellick took his shot in front, and it's cleared out over the blue line. Harris in to Henning. Henning goes over the line. He checked momentarily, looked at the rest of the way into the corner, and Mike Pellick has it. Up to Ron Ellis. Back to Pellick. Pellick working his way out. Pass up to... Turnbull tried to relay it to Ellis, who was in the clear on the right wing. Mike Pellick goes back again. Over to Turnbull. Up for Stan Weir. Weir over the line. Into Ron Ellis. Ellis behind the net. Into the corner. Back to Turnbull. Turnbull shoots it back into the corner. Williams covering his check. Stan Weir with it behind the goal. Lewis covering him. And Dennis Kratzbad brings it back out over the blue line, up to center. Trying to go over the leaf line. Still controls it, though, and then finally lifts it in. 50 seconds remaining in the penalty. No score in the game. Eight minutes and six seconds remaining in the second period. Here's Sittler over the line. Sittler stops. And Mike Keller gets it over for Turnbull. Ian Turnbull. Trying to center it, and Pearson check Lanny McDonald's pass for a turnbull was too hard, and it went down the ice. Mike Pellick to Ian Turnbull. Turnbull to Lanny McDonald. Took his shot at the flex, and then driven into the crowd. By Brian Cutchie. Now the Islander player hard is up with three seconds left. And Bill, you watch these players out there. Players like Pot Van McDonald. Pot Van took a stick in the mouth earlier. McDonald now wearing the uh, mask to protect the very sore nose broken a few days ago. On the scoreboard, Boston leading Chicago two to nothing now. A pair of goals by John Wensing. And lesser men than McDonald and Pop Van might be tempted to retire to the dressing room. But uh, they keep coming back. They do. On the face off, Rush is going to hold it. Back out on the ice is Jerry Hart after serving his penalty. So the teams are at full strength. There's the mask of Lanny McDonald. A different one than the one he wore in L.A. with the bars. He said he had a little difficulty seeing through the bars. Probably this one affords him a little better sight line. There it is again. A good look at that mask. Seems to be only a matter of time before McDonald gets a goal. He just keeps firing that puck one good chance after another. And he's staying up there. He's up there with Stan Weir and Pat Boutet. Comes back to Boyer Coleman. It's shot. That's out in front. Rush has it. We have seven minutes and 18 seconds remaining in the second period. No score in the game. Len Rush playing in his third game in the playoffs. Goaltending average of 1.46. Tops among all the goaltenders. and Pearson out there, number seven. He's a marvelous passer. He's really impressed us in this series with the way he puts the pass right on a teammate stick. He was born in Sweden, a 14th round draft choice. Played 220 games with the Swedish national team and 
He says that uh, Borea Salmon was born much further north than I was. Jimmy Jones, Jerry Butler, Pat Bousset. And it's right. that band, back of the goal. With Trachy on his left, Pearson took the pass up for Gilly. And he bumped him. Gloria Salming pass for Pat Bousset. Gary Butler trying to get it loose. They do. Pat Bousset comes up with it. Goes in behind the net. Tries to center it. Rest duped it back. He's got it again. Got it out of the slot. Rest is going to cover up. Now Butler, Jones, Boutet applying some pressure to Glenn Rush and the Islanders. Rush commenting on that game Wednesday night on the island said, wasn't that a dandy hockey game? Well, it would be for him. I don't know whether Mike Palmatier would agree after that overtime goal went in. Here's that check. Lenny on Big Clark Gilly. Tough man to knock down, but Lenny did it well. Islanders have possession. Dennis bust that around on the boards. It's shot to the blue line, but that out. Jones missing it to Boya Salming. That day couldn't get anywhere, but it's cleared the rest of the way in by Dave Lewis. Leafs go back. Brian Glenny along the boards to Williams. Two fire for Jones. Lewis to Plattfan. Plattfan drives it back in again. And that goes into the crowd. This Stanley Cup playoff game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. the time remaining six minutes and 25 seconds and the puck is dropped to Lewis to hot fan on the board to Bossy Bossy shot it around behind the leaf net up there for it was Salming Bossy tried to center it again Craig Gillies is given a bump by Thomas here Bossy got it back hot fan wasn't there goes back and Lewis has it over here on this left wing. A pass for Clutchy. No, knocked down a pass. Jerry Butler went after it. And in the left. He was out of his net. Up the ice for Bossy. Bossy flips it into the corner. Jones goes back to get it. Jimmy Jones. A pass. Too far for Williams. Williams goes after Clutchy. And all the Clutchy turns it to Bossy. And it's intercepted. The Leafs keep it in. Williams. Trying to get around. Potsdam. Potsdam had him covered. Jimmy Jones from behind the net. Right in front. Forward. Ron Allen. Ronnie Allen gets the first goal. Here come the Leafs. That play came from behind the net. Williams had a arm lock on Potsdam. Williams helped get the puck in behind there. Then they shoveled it in front. Jones, I believe it was, and Ellis racing in from the slot, pops it in behind Glenn Rush. The Leafs take a one to nothing lead with 5.23 to play, first period. There's Williams pinned against the board. Jones made a clever stop there, fed Ellis coming through. One to nothing. The Leafs take it. Dave Leonardi says there's more to come. He's from Philadelphia, and he'll be in Buffalo tomorrow night for the Flyers-Sabres game. Ronnie Jimmy Ellis, Jones. they're still cheering. And number 22, and Dave Ellis Williams. gets the opening goal. 1437. 1437 the time. Ellis from Jimmy Jones, Jones and Williams. And There's Dave another Williams. look at it. Time, 1437. The comeback kid, Ronnie Ellis. Fighting for possession in along the boards to Jones. He fed Ellis coming into the slot. And they could one to nothing for the Toronto Maple Leafs. 523 remaining to play. In the second period. Chamberlain to Joe Hanson up over the blue line, up the center. Long shot off the glass. Ryan Ellis goes after it. Center it right in front of the net. Darrell Sittner tried to get to it. It's brought down the the ice by Kaziki. He's out there with Howard. Kaziki is bumped into the boards by Trevor Johansson. Play is called as Ellis was knocked out. Johansson. That's Kaziki, 21. He's got great speed. He's from Mississauga. 
this is his first game as a pro at Maple Leaf Gardens. The last time he was here, he did not get on the ice. The time before that, he did not dress for the game. And he was very upset about it and said so on the telecast back to Long Island. But he has certainly made an impression in this series, Mike Kozicki. There he is, a great junior. Let's go downstairs now to Dave Hodge. In our second intermission, we'll give you that overtime in the mini hockey showdown final. We'll have highlights from Howie Meeker and from Bob Golden, who continues to watch the Montreal Detroit game, where after two periods, the Red Wings hold it to the one lead. Thank you, David. We've got 4.59 to play here in the second period. Talking about Kazicki scoring, he had 87 points with Fort Worth last year and 170 points in junior hockey with Sault Ste. Marie. Ferguson at center now with Ellis and Pat Lucet. Turnbull and Nystrom bump together. Harry Howitt trying to center it. Oh, that's a throw by the corner. And they try to get a rebound. Howitt. Now it's back to Hart. That shot was stopped by Ellis. Up to Ferguson. Ferguson checked by Pearson and he gets it back to Jerry Hart. Jerry Hart coming to center. One nothing for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Puck goes in. Pat Boothead is hit by Nystrom. Ellis takes his man to the boards and they call play and a face off. They continue to bounce each other around down on that corner. Ray Scapanella, the linesman, grabs the puck. 426 to play in the period now. One, Islanders nothing. Second period here and Sunday, April 23rd, game four of the series. Look at the time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Islanders and the Leafs in game four. Ronnie Ellis gets a burst of applause as he skates off. He scored from Jones and Williams at 14.37. The only goal of the game. He's playing in his 53rd playoff game. And Kurt Walker's up for the first time in the game. Walker getting the puck out over the blue line. He's got it underneath him. And a nice quick fast start for Kurt Walker, and the fans are giving him a hand. Bill, I asked Mike Kozicki how it felt to play in the playoffs here at the Garden. So it's really exciting, Brian, to be in the playoffs for your first time, and it's also quite ironical for me because uh, I do live in Toronto in the offseason, and to play in the playoffs my first goal playoff against the Leafs is very exciting, so I'm really looking forward to it. Ian Turnbull cast the puck down into the corner. Howard and Walker there. Walker makes sure there's no further play, and he's taking the puck almost by himself from one end of the wing to the other and has it there. Well, Kurt Walker's folks were on the island to see him play. They came down from Hingham, Massachusetts, his hometown. They'll probably be here for the Sunday game. Of course, he took that 10-minute misconduct in the game the other night. That had the fans talking. Sittler scores on the rebound. That's what they used to say about Phil Esposito. Tireless performer, the lead captain, Daryl Sittler. I wonder how he could dish out all those body checks and skate as often and as long as he does without getting more tired. Ferguson gets the goal of Johansson at shot. Ferguson couldn't get the rebound as it reflected into the crowd. Yep, you've got it. Hang on to it. All set to go. There you see Glenn Resch behind the mask. Cleared up to center right, Trevor Johansson's pass over for Pat Boutet. Harris takes it, shoots it over the line, and Johansson will go behind the net. Round on the board for Pat Boutet, it's a crazy bounce. Now it's Turnbull to Ferguson. Ferguson tried to pull his way through the fence, and it's under 25, Dave Lewis. Now then Ferguson covered his check, Lewis fired it to an open wing, then it's cut down. It's away from Boutet. Coming up to center right, the pass to Harris over the line. Harris trying to center it, he 
Okay, quite fun with that. And that's off its hinges, and the face-off is going to come outside. Live from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto, the Stanley Cup playoff. In a dandy hockey game so far, particularly this second period, Leafs in front, one to nothing on the goal by Ellis. Here's the uh, collision at the goal mouth and the net coming up when Potvan dislodged it. Sittler back to Glenny over to Boria Salmon. Ahead for Sittler off the skate to Lanny McDonald. Lanny McDonald shoots the puck in. Maloney after him. By the center it. Trap puck. Right to Maloney. Took his shot and it was knocked back. He gets the throw to Boria Salmon. Maloney. Right in front of was stop that one. Now then, Glenny. to Maloney. Took his shot. It's close to Maloney again. Another shot. And fired it wide. Gloria Salmon couldn't keep it in. It's outside the blue line on the outside. Series of shots by the Leafs, but some very poor angles for shooting. Lanny McDonald panned on one, but it, you can excuse him for that one because he really wasn't able to get much of a, a swing at it. I still think he is, is hindered with that net. Well, undoubtedly it hinders him to some degree. Toronto Maple Leaf leading 1-0 with 2 minutes and 42 seconds remaining to play in the second period. What a, what a real classy hockey game. Tremendous action in this second period. Mike Bossy gets a new hockey stick. And from the face off, the Islanders have the puck. Number six, Bert Marshall. Over to Stephen Pearson. Up at center. Stopped by Brian Glenn. He was in the check. Orya Selmy. Stop. Williams. Bossy bumped into him. Pearson around on the boards for Clark Gilly. Leaving it there for Marshall out to Bossy. Bossy went back. He nearly lost it to William. Taken by Trache. Trache getting it. Over the line for Bossy. Dumped by Glenn. And there will be a penalty to Brian Glenny. Well, once again, the Leaf penalty killing brigade comes under fire. Lenny trips up Mike Bossy, 22, coming down the right right side. 155 left in the period. For Brian Lenny, two minutes for holding. Time 18:05. Brian Lenny for holding. Well, five seconds Time of this penalty will carry over into the third period, unless, of course, the Islanders score. But they haven't had much success against the Leaf penalty killing throughout the three games played so far. I'd like to know what Roger's saying down there. Now a penalty killing team of Jimmy Jones and Jerry Butler going back to work again as Boya Salming Shoots it down the ice. Lenny and Turnbull have also been on the ice when we have had to kill penalty. Back of the net, Dennis Potsdam. Toronto Maple Leafs leading 1-0. With 135 remaining in the second period. Jimmy Jones golfed at the puck and he got Dennis Potsdam again. That's the second time Potsdam's been hit in the face. Nobody likes to see that. That's, oh. that's twice uh, accidental both times. First the stick on a follow through, and now Potvin gets in front of the puck here. And, oh, that hurts. Oh, he's some competitor though, and he's played a marvelous game there tonight for the Islanders. He must be wondering twice in one period. He took a shot in Vancouver once that a linesman told me I'd have put him out of hockey forever had he not been wearing the helmet. 
Well, fortunately, it wasn't anywhere near the eye. It was above on the uh, top of the forehead. Bridge of the nose. Goes back to Boya Salmi. He drives it off the board, out to center ice. The Islanders have it. 124 remaining in the period. Now that Pat Price up for the first time, number three. Jimmy Jones can't get it out. Price has it for the Islanders. Watched by Turnbull, trying to shove him off the puck. Comes back. Pearson over to Trutchie. Trutchie just cleared it around behind the net. Gilly tried to center. Turnbull down the Less than a minute to go in the second period. one nothing. Toronto Maple Leafs lead. Here's Price. Price. Set by Jerry Butler the first time. Gets it over to Pearson again. And Pearson will bring it up to center right. He shoots the puck in wide of the leaf net. Or he's pounding around on the glass. And that went whistling into the crowd. We've gone to the Escherich. Uh, took that one on the top of the head. Mike Bossy, 25 regular season power play goals. I asked him if he collected the puck after the game the other night, the overtime goal he scored, and he said, no, I didn't get that one. He's got quite a collection of them, though, this year. I have my first, my 30th, the 40th, the 50th, and so on. Quite a hand for Jerry Butler as he leaves the ice. Ferguson and Jimmy Jones, 36 seconds remaining in the second period. Jones drives the puck down the ice. Right on the net, Rash to Pearson. Pearson trying to work his way out. Gets right back out there as Dennis Putfast takes the pass, tips it in. Helmet here to Boya Salmi. He ripped it around and it down the ice. Ten seconds as the puck goes to the corner. Now then the Islanders trying to bring it out. They won't have enough time. There's only two seconds left. Nice from a long shot. That goes into the crowd. As the bell goes to end the second period. And so the score at the end of the second period. Toronto one, Islanders nothing. Thank you, David. Thank you, Howie, for those highlights. And, Bill, I'm just looking at some times handed me by Ed Milliken as we get set to begin the play for the third period. Salming has been on the ice 28 minutes so far. McDonald, 13 minutes and 10 seconds. And Sittler, 14 minutes and 50 seconds. So the big guns of the Leafs have been logging a lot of ice time tonight. Okay, Brian, and we'll have a look at the summary now of that second period. One scoring play, that by Ron Ellis from Jimmy Jones and Tiger Williams at 14.37. Islanders out shooting the Toronto Maple Leafs 8-5. And a reminder once again that the fourth game in this series will be played Sunday, April 23rd, right here at Maple Leaf Gardens. The Islanders and the Leafs, a 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time start. So watch for it on Hockey Night in Canada. Fourth game in the series. Brian Lewis, the referee tonight. Boston leading Chicago two to nothing. Second period now. John Wensink has both Bruin goals. Well, Lanny's had his troubles tonight. Took a wrap on the nose and has missed several scoring chances. Now wearing the mask to protect the injured nose. Tomorrow night it's Philadelphia at Buffalo with Rick McLeish, Bernie Perrant and company holding a. 2-0 Philadelphia lead over the Sabres. Can they come back on home ice? Well, Lanny McDonald and Gloria Salming doing a little bit of repair work on the ice. And we have five seconds, as you can see, remaining in Brian Glenny's penalty. He's just sitting there ready to come out. Leafs want to avoid overtime if it's possible. Uh, they look at their record in overtime and it's not too impressive. They've lost their last four games that have gone into overtime. Gloria Salming was 27 years old on Monday and Randy Carlisle was 22 on Wednesday of this week. Well, we're all set to start play now as Daryl Sittler takes up his position at center right. Brian Trecce, Mike Bossy, and Zach Gillies. For the New York Islanders, 
Ernie Salming said something to Mike Thomas here. He's all ready to go. Go to the Islanders, Dennis Patman. And from the faceoff, Crutche got the puck over the line. It goes into the corner. Back out on the ice is Brian Glenny. Gilly slaps against the board. Play is called. And the Leafs have successfully held off the Islanders, killing a penalty. Jordy McRae, the backup man. The last time he played regularly in a playoff series was two years ago when he played all three games against the L.A. Kings. Blaine Stoughton's overtime goal won that for the Leafs, that series. There's Billy Smith, the backup man for the Islanders. All set to go. The puck is dropped, and it's Lanny McDonald. He's knocked over. Clutch inside the center. Gloria Salming to Lanny McDonald. to Daryl Sittler to Danny Maloney. So by him. Dennis Patpan gets it over to Lewis, over to Trutche, shoots it in, slow roller that's covered by Palmatier to Daryl Pittman. Around for Randy McDonald. Randy McDonald couldn't get it out. Dennis Patpan takes the shot, Palmatier stopped that. Then Bossy starts to the other side. As the Leafs are trying to get out of their own zone. Goes into the corner. Trutche gets it to Lewis. Lewis back into the corner and Randy McDonald. Taken out of the play by Gillies, but it's Gloria Salming to Sittler for Maloney again as the center right. And it's Potman. Over to Lewis. He shoots it in, and the Leafs go back. Ryan Glenny up to Maloney. Maloney up at center. A pass for Sittler. He gets it into the corner. He goes behind the net. Here he hides. Hit by Maloney. Maloney has the puck to Sittler. Back to Turnbull. Daryl Sittler. Played by Lanny McDonald, and Daryl Sittler will leave the ice after taking that hard shot on the back of his leg. We're trying to walk that one off. On the scoreboard, Chicago fighting back. Makita has scored for the Blackhawks. Bruins lead it 2 to 1, still in the second. On the faceoff, Jimmy Jones to Trevor Johansson. Gets over the red line, drove the puck in, comes around on the boards again. Turnbull with another shot, and that was high over top of the net. Trevor Johansson drives it right back in. Leafs take a break. It's into the corner. Pearson is bumped by Williams. Nystrom comes up with it. Nystrom gets it behind the net. Pearson into the corner. Jerry Hart back to Pearson. Pearson of the Islanders back to Hart. Over the blue line up to center. He shoots it in, knocked down by... Ian Turnbull back out of center. Suzuki getting it over to Hart. Back to Pearson. Pearson shoots the puck in. Taken by Turnbull. Up for Williams. Up to Jones. Jones tried to get it over to Jerry Butler and it's picked up by Bob Bourne. Bourne is dumped by Williams. And his cut bag gets it over on the left side. Made it out to center right. Made by number 11, Wayne Merrick. Along the board, Merrick shot it wide of the net. Ends up behind the goal, and Williams is there. Williams, a pass to Ron Ellis. Couldn't get away. Johansson up to Ian Turnbull. Flipped it up for Williams. He's over the line, and it's hot that hasn't against the boards, and we'll have a faceoff. From Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto, this is Stanley Cup 78. time that has elapsed so far in this third period 251 Toronto leading one nothing it went by Brian Glenny Glenny has to get back quickly and he got it away from Merrick but picked up by Harris Harris checked by Glenny Dennis Putman and Pat Boutet as it's cleared in now into Leaf territory and it's going to sound round on the board for Pat Boutet they try to pass and Dennis Putman broke that up he hit Pat Boutet with it. Now Harris will try his luck for the Islanders. A long shot. Palmatier stays that into the corner. Dan Weir knocked off the puck. Cleared to Dennis Cutman. He's shot. And right the spot. Dan Weir. Then to Ron Ellis. Ron Ellis went on to Harris's stick. That's deflected. And Pat Boutet has it. Up to Dan Weir. Up at center. Over the line. Ron Ellis. Hit by Howard. 
Ellis covered his man, then Merrick shot it to an open wing, and Glennie just drives it out again. Goes back down the edge. Dennis Putman after it. Dennis Putman up to his own blue line to center. Takes the long shot. Tom McKeer ahead to Danny Maloney. He gives it to Darrell Sittler. Sittler, just a body check from Dennis Putman. Lanny McDonald is shot. And Rush stopped that. Maloney tried to keep it in. Goes back to center. Bossy. Over for Trotje. Tried to jump over the top of the board and couldn't. Lanny Maloney. Up for Lanny McDonald. Stopped by Gilly. That shot is knocked down. Darrell Sittler. And he puts that one off the line to them into the leaf bench. What a sensational play as Trache tried to leap over number 21 of the Leafs, Borja Salming. Trache with 20 points in his 30 Stanley Cup games, and he now knows why some people call Salming Plastic Man. Watch this. No room. Jimmy Jones, Williams, and Butler. Trache with Bossy and Gillies. Now it's Kike Gillies and Williams. Well, it's not the official's fault. They have to put those sticks on the ice. Oh, they're going to give them another chance. We have a new stick for an Islander. All set to go. The puck shot by Jerry Hart around on the boards. Kept in by Bossy. Bossy pass. Gets it again. Deflected to the blue line, but not out. Finally, it's Jerry Butler who gets it out over the blue line, and it's knocked right back. Okay, and then with that, here's the assemble. One on one. And he rest. Came well out of his net as Trimble couldn't get a shot. Hart had him all tied up. Mike Gilly coming out to the blue line. Up at center ice for the Islanders. Covered by Turnbull. Got the puck line in the net. And it's William. Into the corner. Gilly bumped into him. Jerry Butler then just makes sure of it by getting it to center right. Leaves back. That from Pearson missed it. Jimmy Jones goes after him. Took the puck away from him. Centered it. Jerry Butler took a whack at it. Went flying into the board. That by Ian Trimble. Trimble takes his hit. Oh! Either they get it or it could be Trimble, but the Leafs hold a 2 nothing lead. And that play developed when Gary Butler made a diving stab of the puck in the corner. The puck came back to Trimble, and Butler headed for the front of the net. None of the Islanders saw him there. Trimble teams up with Butler. Here's the shot from Trimble. Did Butler touch it? It's in behind Rush. Butler raises his arms in jubilation. And Rush looks up, wondering where he came from. But Butler came from the corner. And he did not touch it according to the official score. Turnbull has been credited with the goal. Unassisted. 537. 5.37. That the play was made possible by Jerry Butler, who outfought the Islanders for the puck. Ian Turnbull. Unassisted, 537, two to nothing now for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now then, Gloria Salmon shoots the puck in. Dennis Cutman. Watched by Ferguson. Still has it, though. Not able to get into motion. Now he gets to the center. Shot the puck the length of the ice. After it. Try to stop it against the board. Islanders try to center it. Ferguson. Dennis cut back, covered by Williams. Ferguson lifts it down the ice. There's a race for it. Ellis going after it. Rush is going to touch it. He hands it to Ellis. Ellis. Back to Solming and he blasted one. Here's Williams. Right in front. Got it wide. Comes out to center ice. Right. Solming. Now Williams. off the glass. It ends up at the side of the net. Play is called. 
They fall around the Islanders' net as Ellis set up a good scoring blast by Salming that just went wide. Williams in there as well. As Rush came out of the goal and left it untended for a while. Tonight's Stanley Cup playoff game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Now set to go now. Set the wings to draw to Turnbull again. It goes in behind the net into the corner. Maloney's after. He's there first. He gets it to Lanny McDonald. Lanny McDonald from behind the net into the corner. Back to the blue line. It went by Turnbull who dumped Harris. There's going to be a penalty there to Turnbull. Turnbull will get a penalty. This is Stanley Cup 78 from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Here's the penalty to Ian Turnbull for hooking at 6.57, right outside the penalty box door. 13.03 left to play in the regulation time. Cut for the face-off now in the circle to the left of uh, Mike Thomas here. We get the puck, but not out. Then it's back there, just cut in, that's all. And then Boy is coming around on the board. Stephen Pearson has the puck inside the line. Gets it to Clark Gilly. Two to nothing for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Gilly off to the side to Kutche. Kutche gets it back. Pearson then back. In front, it's deflected to the blue line. And it's cut down. Coming in from the side, a shot. Knocked down by Boyer. Coming in here down the ice. Back to the Islanders net. Here they come again. They have the odd man. 111 remaining in the penalty to Ian Turnbull. Shot in by Islanders. Lenny a swipe at it and you saw it just like high up into the ground. While we have a break, let's check at the action at the Detroit Olympia now where the Montreal Canadiens now lead the Red Wings 4-2. Lambert with the puck in over the blue line. Here comes Ivan Cornoyer and a little move here on Ronnie Lowe. He gets it high and in the net and that was the fourth Montreal goal. Cornoyer ecstatic and it's 4-2. Canadians over Detroit. They're in the third period. to resume play here now. Vicky is out there at center with Nystrom and he's got a red. 56 seconds remaining in the penalty. 11.57 in the game. Buck is cleared by Jerry Butler all the way back into his own territory. Boy is filming. Then drives it along the boards. But not out. That's in. Vicky a shot. That one hit plenty. Cleared back to the blue line. And it's back there to Pearson. Stopped. And Butler went down. Here comes the shot. Why? The rebound. And Mike Thomas can't stop that. It goes loose. And Glennie gets it out over the blue line. 21 seconds left in the penalty. After the Islanders, they can't get over. It's picked off by Jimmy Jones. And he shoots that one down the ice. Hitler comes over the board. Dallas is still out there. Mizuki of the Islanders. Pass up at center. Blocked by Borea Selmy. Picked up by Ron Ellis. Ellis. Over for Borea Selmy. Back to Brian Glennie. Turnbull back on the ice. Over to Borea Selmy. Up over the blue line up at center. The pass for Turnbull goes all the way in behind the Islanders' net. Jerry Hart gets it up to Nystrom. Nystrom. Long shot wide of the net. Jerry Howard. And it goes to Dan Maloney. Maloney coming out. Gets it ahead to Daryl Sittler at center. Sittler a long shot. And that was from well out and handled very easily by Glenn Rush. Goes to Nystrom. Nystrom is bumped. Nice hit. Cleared up at center right. Jerry Howard is bumped by Sittler. Nystrom gets over the line. Got through Lanny McDonald into the corner. Back to the net cover, Johansson. And Danny Maloney then decides to hold it against the board. Finally, it comes loose. And Daryl Sittler has it. 
He gets over the line, tried to go by Jerry Hart. Glenn Red covers up, and we'll have a face-off. With the score, Toronto 2 and the Islanders nothing. This is Stanley Cup, 78. You Live from Maple Leaf Gardens, we're in the third period with 9.52 to play in regulation time. Leafs 2, Islanders nothing. Daryl Sittler with Lanny McDonald and Maloney back to filming. He shot it wide. The rebound off the board. Lanny McDonald to Daryl Sittler. It's flipped along the board, taken by Trotche, covered by Lanny McDonald. Lanny McDonald trying to get it out, hooked it to Sittler. Sittler trying to get it back to him. Trotche went down, but Harris has it at center right for the Islanders. Up over the blue line. With Gilly, the puck is left there by Turnbull. Head man's it to Lanny McDonald. Takes his shot, locked down by Jerry Hart, and that one went up into the crowd. Two goals in the game by Ellis and Turnbull have given the Leafs a 2-0 lead. The Leafs have won only one of their last five playoff games at home, the 7-3 victory over Los Angeles in the first game of this year's playoffs. Leafs lost all four home games last year. The story tonight, a big part of it anyway, the penalty killing of the Leafs. The Islanders have one power play goal on 14 chances in the series. Ryan Crutchie at center. Gilly and Bossy. Leafs have the puck. Gloria Thelman with a long shot. That's wide. Rebound came out very quickly, and Jerry Hart has it. Hart hit Williams. Williams after the puck. Going to stick loose. And Bossy brings it up now for the Islanders. Up the center. Tried to get it over the line. Thelman got it out. Jerry Butler had intercepted. And it goes back to Marshall. Marshall giving it to Jerry Hart. Hart, a pass to Bossy. Stopped by Boya Thelman, was all over the ice. Jimmy Jones was knocked down. A long pass to Jerry Butler. Over the line. Takes the shot. And that one, Resch had trouble with, but it was off the target. Marshall to Hart. Lenny missing Bossy with a body check. Jimmy Jones. Round on the board for Jerry Butler. He shot it down the ice. That's going over the red line. That could be icing, and it is. This Stanley Cup playoff game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. It's his second home. His real home is Philadelphia, but he likes it here. He's here often. Dave Leonardi from Philadelphia. And we're getting set to start play again with number 21, Mike Kazicki. At center, nice come on the right side and born on the left. Trevor Johansson with the puck behind the net. George Ferguson back there with him. Trevor Johansson. Then around it comes to Williams. Williams gets it up to Ferguson at center. Ferguson checked at the blue line. Lewis got it out. Cleared up by Bourne. Kazicki gets his shot. And he fired it wide. Comes all the way back out at center. Price getting it over on the left wing to Lewis. He drives it over the line. Knocked down by... Ian Turnbull stick, but it wasn't above his shoulder. Ian Turnbull then flips the puck out and down the ice. Price had a piece of it, so it's not icing. Price after it, goes back in the net. Ferguson dumped him. The puck into the corner. Williams gets in there, and it's shot out over the blue line to center right. Picked up by Ian Turnbull from Johansson, who had it returned to him. Johansson gets over the red line. A pass to Flex to Sittler. Hitler fans on his shot. Let's one go. It's weak and wide. Dave Lewis. A pass to Nystrom. Back to Price. Up to Nystrom. Nystrom just missed. A check from Glenny. Buck taken by Maloney. Shot it out on the right wing. Too far at center, but Gary Howard has it. He's bumped by Lanny McDonald. Taken by Sitler. A long shot. Rush stopped that. Dennis Putfan is out. Dennis Potvin to Nystrom. That's too far. And we had Lanny McDonald and Gary Howitt. And they're going to get penalty. Drive from Maple.
Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto, the Stanley Cup playoff. 13-17, Gary Howard for high sticking. And Lanny McDonald go. Number seven, Lanny McDonald, two minutes for high sticking. Both for high sticking. 13-17. Don't forget, game four in the series. Sunday at 7. Sunday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time start. The Islanders and the Leafs at Maple Leaf Gardens. Watch for it on Hockey Night in Canada. And the teams will play even at five aside. Daryl Sittler, Maloney, Goya Salming, and Brian Glennie. Dave Tiger Williams has gone to the dressing room. I think he's getting his, a new helmet. It's shot by Glennie into Islander territory behind Jack Pearson into the corner. Then it's cut Van up for Harris. Harris the nice one. Nice one going down the ice. Up over the blue line. And Glennie cutting into the corner. Daryl Sittler. Trying to get at the puck. Glennie goes down. So does Harris. And Sittler gives it to Boyer Salmon. Salmon gets it ahead to Danny Maloney. Up at center. Over the line, a pass back for Sittler, a shot, and that's high over top of the net, into the glass. Back for the Islanders, Nystrom to Harris. Back for Nystrom, hit the back of his skate, knocked at the blue line, Nystrom. Bumping into Maloney. And Kenny knocks Harris down for the third time, and Maloney gets the puck over to Boria Salmon. Up at center. A pass for Sittler. He couldn't get over the line. Back up at center. Long shot. Thomas here handled that. Gloria Thelming behind the net. A pass up for Ian Turnbull. Turnbull in good speed. Up over the line. Takes the shot. Still has it. Goes to the corner. Puck taken by Ryan Fretchie. Trache's pass goes the length of the ice. Butler will get back and touch it. Icing is the call. Jerry Butler's played a strong game for the Leafs tonight. And so is Brian Glennie, who doesn't come in for much attention throughout the season, but he has really caused fits in the Islanders' lineup with his hitting and his strong checking in the Leaf zone. There's a final. Montreal over Detroit, 4-2. Shot Lemaire, LaRouche, and the goal you saw moments ago by Ivan Cournoyer did the damage for Montreal. Nick Libet had both Detroit goals. Montreal leads the series now, 2-1. to one. Five oh seven left on the clock. Ellis and Turnbull have scored for the Leafs. Salming seems to be out there every second. Incredible performance. Fantastic performance tonight for Goya Salmon. Seems still even at five aside with 21 seconds remaining in the penalty. 5.02 remaining in regulation time. 2 nothing is the score in favor of the Rattle Maple Leaf. Price shot it over the line and Goya Salmon went back to get it. Goya Salmon. Headman's the puck to Jerry Butler. Over to Jimmy Jones. Up at center. Over the blue line. Back on the ice come McDonald and Howitt. It rolls into the corner. Jerry Butler after it. Poked it behind the net. And it's picked off there by Crotchet. He's not going anywhere. You're going to try it again, though. Shot it up on the board. Then Boria Salming knocked it right back again. Salming gets back up on his skate. The Islanders with a pass to Crotchet. Trache up at center. A long shot, way wide of the net. Gillies goes into the corner. He's too well covered. Gloria Salmon. Starting to work his way out. A pass ahead to Pat Boutet. He shot it in. Ellis goes after it. Ellis in the corner is checked. It's cleared out. But there's Gloria Salmon again to Turnbull. A pass for Ellis. It was tipped to go Goyson. Three minutes and 47 seconds remain in regulation time. Back up to Zizicki. Up at center. Up over the leaf line. Trying to go through. Cleared out by Boya Salmon. Pearson gets it over to Dennis Crutbath. 
He shoots it in. That's wide of the net. Brian Glennie picks that up. His pass for Pat Boutet is going down the ice. That's going over the red line as soon as Dennis Cutsman touches it, ice him. Now the Leafs are three minutes and 22 seconds away from winning their first game of this series. Al Arbor. Roger Nielsen. Nielsen took in a game in Peterborough last night. That's how much he's in love with hockey. Middle of the playoffs with the Leafs, he goes to see a junior game. up in the there's the time to play three minutes 22 seconds Brian Glennie a little bit of a grimace there as he has had a lot of ice time as well tonight but Gloria Salming's really been on the ice almost all night long Bill both these clubs nursing a lot of minor injuries I was in the Islander dressing room the other night and Trache had bruises and welts on his shoulders and I'm sure uh, it's typical of all the players in this bruising series. I'd say that the, uh, even though that we had, did have warmer weather and now, now it's cooling off a little bit, the ice has been excellent. It's held up well. All set to go for the faceoff. Sittler wins the draw to Glennie. Glennie back to Borja Salming. Salming back for Glennie. Nystrom, Adam check, but it's cleared by Tiger Williams down to center and all the way back to the Islander blue line. That's Dennis Putfan coming up now for the Islanders. Gets it over the line, had it back to him. Here's straight in front. Howard couldn't get his shot. Rod Ellis got the puck down the ice off of Dennis Putfan. There'll be no icing on that. It's cleared along the boards. Two minutes and 49 seconds remaining in regulation time. Ferguson stole the puck. Got his shot away. And Gary Hart now. Gary Howitt coming up number eight. At center. A long shot. Off the board. Williams tapping it along the board. He's going to hold it for a faceoff. Two minutes, 31 seconds remaining. Regulation time. Well, Bill, this series heats up as it moves along. In game two, we had some spectacular hockey at the island. And... We've had some spots in this game, which was equal to anything we saw there. And game four is coming up on Sunday, again from Maple Leaf Gardens here in Toronto. And don't forget, it's a 7 o'clock start. This line has played well. The one going off now, yes, they have. Ferguson, Williams, Ronnie Ellis. Solid effort for the Leafs. Ellis got the first goal, his 16th playoff goal. Sittler wins the draw, and it goes from Borja Salming to Brian Glenny. Glenny off the boards and down the ice. That's going to be icing, and it'll be brought back again as soon as Dave Lewis touches it, and he does. And took about five seconds. You know what Palmatier is gunning for with two minutes and 17 seconds on the clock? On the face-off, it's Brian Glennie. Hit Lanny McDonald. Lanny McDonald just taking it along the boys with his skate. And finally, they get a face-off. Ian Turnbull comes out now, Trevor Johansson, and I believe they're going to let Boya Salming have a whip. Well, tell me, there's Jude Gruen going to the bench. He hasn't played very much in the series. I tell you, who has played much and, uh, and very well is Jimmy Jones for the Leafs. Well, and Dennis Putman, we can overlook him for the Islanders. He plays extremely well. Uh, backhand wide of the Leaf net, goes into the corner. Lanny McDonald trying to get the puck out, and they hold it again for a faceoff. 157 remaining. In the game of regulation time with one, with the Leafs leading at 2 nothing. Wayne Merrick, Rob Bourne, Billy Harris, Dave Lewis, and Pat Price. Leafs line up. 
Hitler wins the draw, and Ian Turnbull goes back to the net. And that's another big face-off for Daryl Sittler as the puck is knocked down to the blue line inside. Matt Price has it. Got it over to Lewis. Lewis moves up now, shoots it in. Danny Maloney goes back for it, goes to the board. And they'll get another face-off with 1.34 remaining in regulation time. Maloney was content to trap the puck there rather than take a wild swing at it and risk uh, letting it go over to the Islanders. He, he knows how adept a centerman Sittler is on these face-offs, and uh, they'll try to get it in behind the net. Probably the Turnbull. Back out. <laughs> For you, so. For you. Turnbull's out there. Pearson paid a tribute to Salmon the other day. He said he was the fellow who paved the way for the Swedish players in Canada. The goaltender is now out of the net. Glenn Rush is left. We have an empty net with a minute and 34 to play. That's a long time. A minute 34 left. The Islander net is empty. No Sittler. Lenny. Williams and Butler. And there's Glenn Rush. The nourishment over at the Islander bench. They trail 2-0. 134 remaining, and they're going with six attackers. Ryan Trache, Pearson, Gilly, Nystra, Bossy, and Dennis Potvin. Zipper wins the draw again. Then he gets it behind the net into the corner. Rolls it up to the, along the boards. They're trying to kick it out. You can't touch it. Trying to center it. Played by Glenny around on the boards to the blue line. It gets by Pearson. Williams races after the puck. Gets a all down by Dennis Sotvan. And it's third ahead to touch it. Touch it. Stopped by Glenny. Got the puck out and down the ice again. It's over on the left wing. Jimmy Jones comes up. Less than a minute to go as Williams knocks the puck into the island territory. Pearson, the shot will hit the net. Jimmy Jones the empty net and he just missed. He actually probably helped us from not going in. Now then, Dennis Platfan, a pass over to Fletcher. He gets it back, 41 seconds. They move up. It's knocked over the line. Boy, you found it. Bearing it into the corner to Brian Glenny. Glenny with 32 seconds. Knocked by Williams. It goes down over the line. Then it's Putman and Butler bump together. And it's an icing call against the Maple Leafs. And Butler never stops. He almost uh, beat the Islander to the puck there. The crowd loving the last minute and a half of this hockey game with the net empty. Jones came closest to scoring, although Williams had a good effort till he was pulled down. Reminds me of this face-off in this zone with the net empty and Trotche out there, Bill. Uh, I guess a year or so ago, it was Trotche who won the face-off, the empty net away down behind him at the other end of the rink. Somehow they credited the empty net goal to Rogie Vashon. For a while, Rogie was being credited with the only goaltender to score a goal in the NHL, but a review of the videotape by the official score showed that it was Trotche who actually propelled the puck down. Here we go. Very important face-off. 24 seconds left in regulation time. 2-0 for the Maple Leaf. The puck is back to Price. Price knocks it to the corner. Harris centered it out to front. Goes over to the far wing. Back it comes to Dennis Putfan. Putfan shot it around behind the net to try to get it out to front. Hitler got it to the blue line but not out. 10 seconds remaining. It came in front of the net. Boy, it's helming. Flips it out to center right. Goes back to Price. Three seconds left. A long shot. The game is over. Here gets the shutout. His second shutout in the 78 playoffs. One against L.A. Four to nothing. Here tonight, two to nothing over the Islanders. Ellis and Turnbull got the goals, and the Leafs are all around like Palmer's here. And now the Leafs have their first win against the Islanders on home ice after losing the first two on Long Island. So we have a fourth game here on Sunday and a fifth game back on Long Island. There's the scoreboard. Toronto 2, the Islanders nothing.
tremendous team effort by the Toronto Maple Leafs. Mike Palmatier earns the shutout. In just a moment, our three-star selection. Here are tonight's most three stars as selected by Hockey Night in Canada. The first star...